everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day. Okay, so I am doing a pour over on this face that I got from the dollar store. It's got these ridges here. To me, it looks either like a dragon fruit or a watermelon. And I've got two of them because a friend brought me one as well. And one I am going to do in watermelon colors. The other one we'll probably do it in reds. Get a, more of a dragon fruit kind of thing. So I have my colors over here mixed. And we are going to use Cranactone Magenta Liquitex Basics and Diva Pink by Apple Barrel because I love it. It's almost a neon. It's such a pretty color. Then the Key West by Apple Barrel. I don't use Apple Barrel too much, but there is a couple shades that I like. So that's that one. And this one here, I know Brittany Gunter uses that one a lot. And I always love it in her paintings. So... Okay, and then the Turquoise Green by Master's Touch that I absolutely love. I like the Turquoise and the Deep Turquoise. They're both great colors. And then to start with, I am just going to put some White Flow Acrylic by Artist Loft. I'm hoping this doesn't topple over. I do have it on a plastic tray. So I can save the skins and I have it on, this is just another vase that I covered with plastic and tied it down with painter's tape because none of my cups really fit this one where it wouldn't totally topple over. So I'm going to start with the white and just give it a base to slide on. gonna rub that down and I'm already like slinging paint you know how much I love to make messes so this is just merely to help it slide so okay let me grab a paper towel <laughs> I should have came prepared Okay, I am going to start with, I think I'm going to make a cup. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to put some of the green in a cup, the turquoise. <clears throat> then we will do some of the Diva Pink, the Key West. Cranacodon Magenta and then we'll go one more round look at how pretty those colors are together it's very rose garden <laughs> love it And then we are just going to do a pour. a little bit while I make my next cup. We'll go 
backwards with the colors this time. some of this paint off the side because this one is just to really get it coated. I'm going to go around and dab it down in the spots where it's not flowing all the way and then before I pour that next one over. Look at the pretty tree ring effect down there. I like that. Okay. We go empty the rest of that magenta in there. Rest of the diva pink. My pink is kind of thin. I'm I haven't used apple barrel paints in such a long time that I wasn't used to mixing them because you don't use nearly as much Floetrol and you don't need any water mixing them. They're so th such thin paints. So I kind of mixed those two colors too thin, I think at least, compared. Okay. Do this one more time. wished I had more of that green, the darker green, pre-mixed. I'm just going to let it do its thing and then I will bring you back for a close up. So, oh, 
be right back. Okay, here is a close-up of it still wet. I did go back and add some extra colors. That is the bottom. So like this side over here. Like I said, after it dries, I'm going to go in and all those spots I'm going to paint, hand paint black. And then I will bring you in to show you the final result before it's resined. Okay. I just wanted to show you what it looked like all done. I did put a coat of resin on it and I did paint the little seeds black. So that is the final piece. So I think it turned out pretty cool. That's my favorite side there. But it turned out neat. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, everybody.